Hi there, we're going to take a look at two new features in Project Photo Web. Both are related to colors and can easily be used to liven up your schedule. So on the March update blog, we get three items that are noted here. Colors on custom fields, which is awesome, which we are going to demo today. A priority field, which is almost finished rolling out, which basically means that I cannot show you anything here. And labels also almost finished rolling out, but finally arrived on my tenant as well. So let's have a look at our project. And for this, I created the February and March update because as you might have noticed, I update you each time there's something new in Project for the Web. And remember to click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and you want to be updated. In February, I didn't do a video because the one thing that was new in February was labels and I couldn't show you. So here is the February and March update for 2022. And I already pre-populated this project with some nice uh, visuals. The first thing that immediately pops out is the progress KPI. This is a custom field that I created and I added these colors. And as you can see, if I change that to amber, for instance, it immediately changes. It's very fast and works like a charm. Now, how do we create that? Is we go to the add column, we'll select a new field. And let's have this as a drop down box, a choice. And let's call this one, not progress KPI, but cost KPI, for instance. And if I have cost KPI, I can have multiple choices and I'll go for the green, amber and red value. And on the right side, you'll see that there's a color picker, which is very interesting. And if we open that up, it gives us a wide variety of colors to pick and choose from. So I like the real project green and then we have amber again, and I can choose a flat air amber or this one, and I can choose red here as well. So if you click create, I get presented with that newly created custom field. And if I choose to show them here, you can immediately see that I'm using two different colors of amber, which is not always a good idea, obviously, but it does look very nice. Now, mind you, these custom colors are only visible on the project itself. It isn't populated in, for instance, the Excel sheet that we can generate. So let's do that right now and I'll show you what happens. Export to Excel and I'll open that up. And when we have our new Excel, what we see is that we have our project and we have our progress KPI as well as our cost value. But because we're using conditional formatting and this is just a flat file that's being sent over to Excel, none of that color coding is retained. One other update that is mentioned in the blog article by Microsoft is that we now have labels and these labels do get populated in our Excel sheet. So all the way at the end, we have lime and pink for our first project task. If you remember correctly, you didn't see any lime and pink in here in the grid view and it won't show up in the timeline either. So logically, where does it reside? Where does it show up immediately? It's actually in the board view where we know the different labels and the different colors from using Planner. Microsoft Planner, one of the favorite tools for every Microsoft Teams user uh, is in Project Photo Web now. And we can add multiple, to, uh, multiple colors in the label and we can, yeah, well, there's a long list of colors that you can choose from and we can even change the, and we can even change the value that 
it describes. So here it says pink, lime, red. But if we go to the grid view, and if we open up that eye marker here, there is an option to edit the label by clicking on the value and just typing in just about anything. And from now on, for this single project, Lime or Pink is now a new name. A new name, a new name. Be aware that this is still not something that is uh, managed on an enterprise level. So Pink will be still uh, pink will still be pink in another project. I can show you that by going to one of all the projects. And let's um, international demo, for instance. And I have the option to get a label. And here you see that it is pink. So these values are local to a project. That also goes for the columns that you added here, right? So that custom field that we created here in the February March update is local for that project. Now, obviously, we can create a somewhat of a template for this. And you can do that by clicking on copy project. And it will retain everything that you had in that project, even the custom fields. So this is now a new, I might not be able to use those quotes there, but this is a new project based on template. I am able to use those. That's nice. So if you have a nice set of KPIs that you want to use in all of your other projects, make sure to have somewhat of a template ready. And you can use that throughout every one of your projects. But then again, this is local values only. It's not residing in Dataverse yet. That means that you won't be able to report based on those custom fields yet. So if there's anything that you like to see in our next update, be aware that we have a feedback portal and accessing that feedback portal can be done through the official release. Here's the official release uh, blog article, but I also have a blog article series that talks about the feedback portal and describes and comments on feedback requests that have come up lately and are interesting to take a closer look at. So if you like what Microsoft is putting out, but if you want to see that specific feature uh, that's not in any of those update blogs yet, make sure to go into that feedback portal and vote on that subject. Now it has been a while since I last published a video, but there are a couple of video topics that I'm exploring currently, and there's more uh, content on the way. Make sure to like and subscribe, and um, maybe one of these other videos on screen now might trigger your interest as well. Thanks again, and see you next time.